So now we gotta go through the sewers, and there's gonna be a couple of goblins and rats. Uh, there's not gonna be any problem at all. Uh, next thing you know, I'm gonna get, like, completely tackled and knocked out. And then again, I highly doubt it. Because they die in one hit. Except these guys, they die in two. What a real threat. I keep trying to sprint. But I know that I can't. Okay, um... I don't think there's anything, uh, in terms of valuables down here. Maybe somewhere, like, hidden in the corner or something, but... Nothing that I'm gonna bother looking for. And this is already the end, wow. Shorter than I remember. So right after this, we are free to go to do whatever we want. Oh, shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Finished exit sewers. So yeah, I'm free to do whatever I want. Um, I think I'm gonna... In terms of the main story, I'm gonna get the Emperor's son to the safe area. I don't know why I'm uh, disclosing, uh, not disclosing the details, but... I want to hold off on spoilers no matter what, uh, unfortunately. But I think the red arrow on your count. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Um, see if I remember what to do. I remember the first time that I played this, I actually died to a wolf trying to run over to this area. Um, however, I can just fast travel to it very simply. And after this, we're going to have to go find the Emperor's son. And then, I don't, I'm not even sure what I want to do after this. But maybe by then I will, uh, it'll, been about, it'll have been about an hour, and I can uh, decide on what I want to do next. I just want to test something. It said that only the uh, heir, an heir of the Emperor can wear that uh, amulet, and they lied. Oh, slips off of you. Never mind. Okay, well, at least they stay true to themselves. Okay, um, I wonder if I can sell it. Sell it for a thousand gold? I kind of doubt it, but... I don't know why they'd put a value to it if I couldn't. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I brought you the Amulet of Kings. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the Amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the Temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Where can I find him? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. 
My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Okay, so off to... I believe the, the town is called Kavach. I always thought it sounded funny, but, uh, yeah, that's just me. Maybe there's even, uh, towns in, uh, in our world that sound like that. I would assume, I mean, we kind of live in a pretty big world, you know, quite a, quite a lot of towns and cities. Anyways, um, now that I'm done sounding like a closed-minded idiot, we're gonna head down to Kavach. Aw, oh, damn it. See, that's what I hate about this game was the map scrolling. Oh, it's just, it's painful. Painfully slow. Hmm, Nords are highly resistant to frost attacks, and they have a mighty shield power which protects them like armor. Um, I doubt that. Personally, I, th I think, you know, my sword could cut them pretty easily, but, you know. I am not a Nord. I always thought calling them Nords is kind of odd, because I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't know if you'd call them Nords in real life, but... There's Nordic stuff. Oh Jesus! Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. The whole city can't be destroyed. Go see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. A little over dramatic there. It was Sabli and Matthias. Some of the other guard helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Sabli and says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them! If you'd seen it, you'd know! I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you! Run while you can! Alright, so there you have an ex excellent example of, uh... The voice acting and the uh, animation skills of the team behind this game. Kind of one of the, the flaws of this game, but... It was, it's still an awesome game. I'm not going to judge it now. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Um, the thing that sucks about this game is I'm, I'm quite a fast reader. And in previous games, you know, I could read text, right? I could read it and quickly get it over with. However, here, you know, it, they have voiceover. And I'm not going to talk while they're talking because that would just mix and that would sound pretty stupid. So, yeah, whenever I'm letting the story play out, I just have to kind of sit here. And sometimes I'm itching to read it, but then I realize that they're talking at the same time, and it would end up sounding very dumb. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. The only thing we can do, we'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. Um, well, obviously we gotta help. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? <laughs> and just imagine, like, no, I don't think so. I think I'll just leave. Turn around and I don't know how to let's see her. It'll get destroyed. It must be possible. Because the enemy closed the ones they 